is. Oh boy. Oh, it doesn't weigh anything. Gotta love the carbon barrel, huh? No kidding. Wow. That's an amazing gun right there. I think you're gonna like shooting. Yeah, for sure. I think we're gonna get this guy. That big bull standing there. Something you never forget. Checking out the terrain, and it's and it's a lot different than we're hunting only 100 miles away. For some people, hunting season never ends. Staying in the forefront of global conservation leaves business and safety at stake. These three men risk it all for the hunts of a lifetime. True Magnum TV is proudly presented by Zeiss. In South Africa, Rob and Alex have a small problem to solve on their way to meet clients. So, on our way to our new camp, mm. and big man ran us out of fuel. Okay, you keep on pumping? The gauge was lying. So when these diesels run out of gas, there's a little pump, primes it back in. Doing good, doing good, come on, come on. We should hunt like that, it's much lighter on fuel. No more cigars. <laughs> Ten thousand miles to the west, Bo Morgan and his team search an expansive Texas valley for Audad. Day's been pretty slow. I mean, it's, you know, it's like we're here to really one of the premier places in the state, and it's pretty slow midday. We're like, hmm, ain't seeing so much, you know. In the back of your head, you're all like, well, I thought we'd be seeing more midday, even, you know. And him and Han a little bit, and a little tough. We're looking, looking, never. Never took too much of a break, just looking, looking all day. And as the sun starts to drop, boom, a light switch come on, and boop, there's a few out dad, and boop, there's a few rams, and boop, there's a few rams. So instantly, they all decided, someone rang a dinner bell, it's time to get up. And they're pretty cool, they run right into this oak brush that's I'm not familiar with, kind of a low oak, that just like candy, they run right in the middle of it, and they're all standing right in the middle of one clump of this oak. And, Neat to see, you know, acting a little different, a little goofy. It's kind of all part of that new area, new new place thing, just learning as you go, and every day something new. So we, we find a ram that's right there. We have the discussion, and I'm not in it. Um, and Jim Breck walked his clients through the conversation. Uh, you know, pretty good. You got how much time you got. This is. This is really good anywhere else, but here it's just an average ram, and it was a pretty nice ram. And went back and forth a little bit on that, the client decided, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I only got a couple days. And we make a move, decide our path, and get in there. Everything's, you know, not too bad. It's a little far, I think it was 465, which is a pretty good poke. Everything's got to be perfect to make that shot. The men must decide if the shot can be ethically taken, given the conditions. True Magnum TV is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. SnapSafe. Security everywhere you want it. Prairie King Ranch. And by True Magnum. The world's best hunting. At the Cooper Firearms Plant in Montana, Ian has a surprise in store for James. When Ian says he's got something special to show me, yeah, I, I have a feeling I know what it is, but if so, this is too good to be true. All right, come on in, James. Well, we're going to the range, so I know that's a good thing. We're shooting something, I'm guessing. I knew it. We're headed to the tunnel. It's a prototype of the 65 PRC. It's the very first one. Sweet. We handmade the follower, handmade the floor plate, 
barrel's not even polished yet. It's all set for you to give it a shot. Look at that. 6.5 PRC. I can send a couple downrange? Yeah. Got a few rounds ready for you. <laughs> this is great. This is a landmark day. I came to get a Wolf gun, and I got one, and it's going to be great. But I get to shoot a 6.5 PRC. First time ever. Nice. Nice, that was smooth. Everybody ready? Yep. OK, fire in the hole. Wow. Nice trigger. I got to try another one. I was pulling the trigger as if it's my 300 win. And I didn't even notice it go off. So this time, I want to feel it go off. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's nice. Just a nice, sharp no jump. Like, you'll be able to stay on target so nice with that thing after each shot, which is exactly why we want, well, that's one of the reasons we wanted to see that gun or that caliber. That's awesome, hey? Yeah, nice. Congratulations, man. You guys really outdid yourself at Cooper. Thanks, man. man, that's crazy, huh? The world's waiting for this thing. I, I just know it. From the from the numbers and the data, the only thing that I didn't know is what does it really shoot like? I just didn't know. Yep. The numbers show that it's awesome. It's got the energy that you need downrange to shoot a lot of stuff. It keeps you on target, you would think, because of the recoil and and the and the efficiency of that long bullet. It, that that should be to a hunter what a 6.5 uh, Creedmoor is to a target shooter. It should be. And I, I can't wait. Anyway, I'll keep checking in with you yeah, because definitely. even though I love this wolf gun, if the 6.5 PRC gets done before wolf season's over, I'll want to come back and <laughs> try them both. First round down range with the 6.5 PRC, baby. Can't beat this. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't even know if I want to go out and freeze my butt off in the cold now. I just want to go to the <laughs> range and shoot that thing. Oh, that's great. Back in South Africa, the guys have been unsuccessful at getting the truck running again, and progress towards town is slow. Well, we made it. <laughs> Peter gave us a toe and Benji. And uh, but now we still got to bleed it out. Uh, the, it's still turning over. We know we're getting fuel, but hopefully it'll uh, hopefully it'll bleed out. If not, we'll pull the son of a gun till it starts fricassing rabbit. With the truck finally running, Rob and Alex hope to get back to camp before the clients, who will be arriving soon. After deciding not to take the previous shot, the team must quickly reposition without spooking the animals. Almost getting to the end of our mountain range there and uh pick up a couple rams. Whoa, check this out. And, and there was some shooters in the bunch, so we uh, formulated a plan. Yeah, but you gotta watch this glare on all your glasses and mirrors. Uh, I'm curious on Get your gun down. Watch the reflections. So it's like 320, see that ridge there? Yeah. Right where it disappeared, we can't see it. So we're gonna move up here. get right down to where we're set up and can see them and one of the ram picks up movement and it's the biggest ram just happens to be the biggest ram so he locked in on us so we're trying to get it sorted out get the hunter set up I was trying to get in there and help Jim wreck a little with you know multiple things he's he's keeping track of the right animal giving the trophy quality and I'm uh, 
trying to help as I can, help the hunter get in a position where he can shoot. It's a little over 300 yards, and he's going to do it. And, and uh, then, then it's a waiting game. The Rams got us pinned. Hey, Bo Morgan, is it? We're in trouble, boys. <laughs> don't worry, our dad don't know about that stuff. Rob and Alex are back in camp, in time to meet clients and set up a plan for the first day of the hunt. So Ben and Michelle Davies, my good friends from Texas, just pulled in after a two-day trip to Africa. They went through Qatar or Arabia or something like that. So, Benny boy, bring my shirt. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. How, how are you? you? As you can see, we got a busy day going on. We, um, we're gonna get this Texas crew out hunting today. Um, we've, got a, a, we've got an afternoon, and uh, we're gonna be looking for buffalo, hippo, um, plains game hunting, just kinda enjoy it. We've got three trucks going out. We also have the girls are gonna relax because they're tired from their trip and we're gonna set them up on a, on a proper uh, photo safari here in Mablingui in our, our home base and then that way they can go back and have a sundowner tonight and just have a nice relaxing afternoon where the rest of us are getting ready for day one. Hunt hard. So my first and main priority here is always looking after clients and it's been a lot of years since I've just had a time for myself like earlier on and just did some hunting, you know. Um, but my, my first job is clients and I'm hosting them, you know, making sure there's good. We've got a great team, I've got a great partner in Yappi and we got DeVolt and pro hunters that have hunt, you know, hunted hundreds of buffalo so you're relaxed a little bit knowing that they'll be looked after but it doesn't change the fact that I mean, I've got two buffalo hunters, five plains game hunters. Um, trying to get, Michelle wants me to be here and help her out because she trusts me. She doesn't know the other guys, but uh, so you got to juggle a lot of hats. And I mean, that's okay, not complaining, but uh, my time's weaning down and we still got a lot of plains game to hunt and I got to kill a buffalo with Michelle. And I have less than one day. I've got this afternoon and tomorrow and and I'm heading back to Canada. There's two buffalo there with cheap drops like that. Ah. The one is not as wide, it's a younger bull. The other one is the last. In the middle? On the this group. Yeah, I know, I seen the big one from this morning was there, and the other one was a lot smaller. I didn't know that there was there's two. two. There's two that's got huge drops like that. So we're gonna try a little bit more. We're gonna drive around, never know we might bump them or see them stand. If not, we're gonna back out, uh, go have lunch, and be back here okay. early afternoon. As a rule, you know, buffalo are normally in the afternoon a little bit more relaxed, yeah, quieter. Like to get into the open in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Let's see this afternoon how it goes. Michelle, for, forget your glasses. That's a beautiful bull. Forget your glasses. There. They're just off to our right. Uh, they're just they're, they're coming. They're coming in. They're coming in front of us right now. Back in Montana, James is taking his newly purchased snow crawling machine out for the first time. 
I want to get into some new country, but I can't get over the top by myself. That's just too dangerous. Um, these guys are heading over. They're just snow crawling for fun. I'll hitch up with them and who knows, maybe we'll get over the top together or at least I'll learn some tips. Sometimes you just gotta push each other. Everybody get in a row. This is what you call really getting behind the president. Crawling, 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 crawling. We'll be there in four years at this rate. All right, yeah, we're pushing snow now. I don't know that we're getting over the top of this thing. That's enough, we're turning this caravan around. Bo and Jim have carefully repositioned to get Willie within range of the Audad they have in sight. They must remain vigilant to keep the ram from spotting their equipment in the bright sun. We're on it, we're just about ready to move. In fact, we start to move to go change position, see if we can get a clear shot at his chest. And I'm still in the glass and... He stood he up. He just stood up? Yeah. He just stood up, you see? A little bit of panic. Get back down, get it in the gun. Um, and, you know, sun in his eyes, pretty tough shot. He gets it sorted out. Yeah, everything good. Go ahead and touch it off if you're good. And just then the ram, you know, I'm watching and got the phone scope on the, on the, on the spotting scope. And the ram just starts to step and. Okay, yeah, again. Got it back. You damn big edge, off the ridge. Off the ridge. Huh. I can't say. You know, the ram really had a reaction, but we don't know. It's just boom, that, that much is gone. So we, we don't know if we it's a clean kill or if it's hurt or so we gotta go sort it out, you know, and the ram's disappeared and pick up the pieces from there. Grab something to shoot off of. Okay, you guys got everything? I'm gonna Yeah, don't worry about it. Follow him. The team moves quickly and cautiously in search of the ram. Come on. Come on, Blackjack, find him. A found spot of blood puts the terrier on the ram's trail. Sure, it's the right ram, right in the last thing of the meadow. That real lime green mountain trees. The Audad is found, and Willie's successful hunt can be celebrated. That's no lion, that's a wolf. It's, it's lots of time he's eating, he's eating. Man, this view of French countryside is uh, pretty unique.